1969 was a very troubled time on college campuses. There were protests, particularly um, about the war, and other things as well. Ashley Schiff was beloved by students at a time when there was turmoil on the Stony Brook campus and there was turmoil in the United States based on this idea that the people with power wouldn't listen to the people without power. And Ashley's magic was that he would listen to students. I think that they knew that he really cared about them and that he wanted to teach them and lead them. And he was modest. He, he never took himself that seriously. He never realized what a good teacher he was until someone told him. He complained a lot about how the campus looked. Bulldozers everywhere, mud everywhere. The land that was given to the university was a beautiful woodland, and he felt very passionately about the destruction of the landscape. And he felt that he couldn't just tell them to do something better. He had to show them. And he went and with his own money, bought azaleas and rhododendrons, and picked a Saturday and said, hey, come help me plant this. And he dug holes underneath his office, and he and his students planted things. He died in October of 69. It was a heart virus, and he was sick only a week. It was just a shock, un unexpected in every way. He was 37. The students from the 1960s had been in this mode of protesting, and they did this when he died. They were protesting death. They didn't know how to express themselves, and they were just devastated. President Toll was like, what can I do to help you? What can I do to make this better? Can I name a building after him? But the students felt that it would be much more meaningful to save a piece of land to be forever wild because they knew that's what he wanted. And so the Ashley Schiff Preserve was born. Coming into the Ashley Schiff Preserve, it's like stepping back in time to a time when we didn't have a lot of shopping malls, we didn't have a lot of concrete. It's a very peaceful, calm place to visit. You don't get that from you know, your dorm or your friends. I mean, you can get comforts, but it's a whole different kind of like life talking to you and just listening to the wind and the birds. It's very special and very unique. I like hiking in the uh, park preserve. It kind of reminds me of camping and hiking around in your childhood and just kind of that pure fun of exploring nature. It's like a different atmosphere as compared to the rest of the campus. Really calm and it's just a nice break from like how busy and like stressful campus life can be. It's sort of this hidden gem on campus. So you just take a few turns from Roth and then all of a sudden you're in an actual wilderness, which is just really exciting. And it's just really beautiful here. So if you just want like a peaceful moment to yourself, you can just come and take a stroll through the woods. I think it is really important for the students to know about the preserve and also the history and the visions and the goals that Professor Schiff and his students had. Right now, we are facing heavy urbanization and also climate change. Just knowing about what grows in your backyard and what grows in your front yard, just little things like that can make a huge change. It's such a wonderful advertisement for a university that cares. You know, that, that cares about the environment, that, that, that also cares about tradition. I think the most important thing that we do here is we give students who want to be in nature but have never had a chance an opportunity to just go for a walk and see things they wouldn't have seen before.